let's uh, end up by looking at uh, can uh, vegans and vegetarians uh, build muscle? Because that's a big question. And uh, according to this cartoon, yes, they can. So looking at exercise and being plant-based, <clears throat> turns out that um, it's good for your endurance. So this study looked at um, uh, exercise, endurance exercise on a uh, meat and uh, uh, cheese diet and the um, uh, athlete could only um, uh, exercise for an hour. When they added some carbohydrate, doubled the endurance time. But when they switched to a high carb diet, tripled. Uh, the endurance time. Now we're going to look at some vegan Olympic athletes and bodybuilders, uh, the largest land animals on earth, and the following athletes show it's not necessary to eat flesh to make flesh. So here's uh, Malachi Davis. He's a British Olympic 400 meters uh, uh, runner. This is Cara Rom uh, Romero, an Olympic soccer player. This is Mont Coleman, a vegan uh, bodybuilder from Oakland and author. Uh, Kendrick Ferris, Olympic uh, weightlifter. Uh, Mario Catley, uh, vegan bodybuilder, owns a gym in Oakland. Rebecca Sonny, uh, Olympic swimmer, who's vegan. Uh, Namai Delgado, vegan bodybuilder, never ate meat in his life. Uh, Derek Treesize, uh, vegan bodybuilder. His wife uh, is also a vegan bodybuilder. Uh, this is a picture of him, Marcella Treesize, uh, the, the couple. And this is Dotsy Bosch, uh, 2012 uh, vegan Olympic silver medalist. A uh, study showed that um, uh, vegan, uh, plant foods help with muscle recovery um, and a variety of fruits, vegetables have been shown to preserve muscle mass and conditioning in adolescents and elderly, um, and they uh, prevent severe post-exercise oxidative damage to muscles and promote fast recovery times and um, post-exercise soreness that are common after workouts and spinach, purple grapes, purple grape juice, black currants, and other berries um, um, are uh, noted. Uh, Derek Morgan um, improved his um, uh, uh, performance on the field and helped uh, about 17, 16, 17 of his teammates um, go vegan when he was on the Tennessee Titans. And uh, they finally made the playoffs when they um, uh, a bunch of them went vegan. His wife uh, helped provide food for his teammates. Um, and uh, 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 they, uh, we have other stars such as uh, Novak Djokovic, um, who is vegan and opened a uh, vegan restaurant in Croatia. I just wish he wasn't such a knucklehead about being vaccinated. Uh, uh, Venus Williams is also a longtime vegan and helps and credits it with uh, helping to ameliorate her uh, uh, Sjogren's disease. Um, John Sally, um, uh, basketball player, Kyrie Irving um, is also a vegan, as is Damian Lillard. Uh, Wilson Chandler, uh, Al Jefferson, uh, Garrett Temple, Enos Cantor, Javel McGee, Jaleel uh, Okafer, and one of my favorite uh, t-shirts, this is uh, Kenneth Williams, vegan bodybuilder, go vegan and no body get hurt. So in closing, much of what we have been taught and learned to eat has been heavily influenced by profit-driven marketing campaigns that do not have health as their primary concern. Our children are taught to gorge on the healthy foods until they come to resemble pint-sized Michelin men and then the adults in their lives throw their hands up in despair when they and we develop asthma, obesity, diabetes, constipation, depression, and other chronic ailments. But the chronic diseases that afflict us and our children did not follow from the sky at the behest of some malevolent God. They are the consequences of our own actions. As such, it is within our powers to choose to change our behavior and provide healthier alternatives for ourselves and our families. We were all born without preferences. No one ever asked 
for fried chicken, fries, ice cream, or pork chop in the delivery room. Everything we think we like, we were taught to like. We can learn to like healthier foods instead. We must do this for our own health and collective well-being, and also for the benefit of the planet and its other inhabitants as well. And we must get off the dairy death train because it is the most unnatural thing we do. Thank you for hanging out and attending this election. <laughs>